So it's been about three weeks since I watched The Lost Harp of Nirvana, and I've got really strong opinions on this episode. Now, I did do a reaction to this episode, so if you haven't seen that, then click up here. There will be a link to that video. I feel like that's mandatory viewing because I started to voice my opinions there, and my opinions have expanded since then. So I'm going off that as a basis. I was way too light on this episode in my initial discussion after my reaction. I don't like this episode. I think this episode's bad, man. I think it's not good. It has good aspects because DuckTales is usually a really good show with good characters and good writing and good humor. And some of those aspects are certainly present in The Lost Harp of Marvana, but it's just not up to the standard that the series has set for itself, man. I'll start with the least offending thing, but it also kind of is still offending to me. Why was Della racist? Like, okay, it's not, oh, BFL's triggered because uh, there was racism in the show or anything. No, like, I mean, there was some funny bits with the, f like, hatred of fish and shit, right? There were funny moments that came from that, right? 100%. But its random inclusion just felt weird to me. Della beats the hell out of a mer person for no reason. At the end of the episode, when the king is up on land... She just like beats the hell out of him. It's like, I did it. I'm not scared of fish no more. I did it. And it's like, uh, it's supposed to be funny. And it's like, it kind of is, I guess. But like when DuckTales is a series that is constantly like trying to do morals, including one in this episode, which is stupid, by the way, having this really weird anti-moral just really sticks out to me. I have no problem with anti-morals and I think that they can be pretty funny. I think that they're used like really often in shows like Teen Titans Go or like Gumball. But in this episode, I just can't help but feel it goes so against the character of Della Duck. Like, really? This is the character who, when stranded on the moon for, what, a decade more? Gave up her way to get home to an alien that had been terrorizing her the entire time she was there. She just gave it up. She said, you know what? If I can help this, this creature who is innocent, then I'll do it. And now here she is. She's like, you fucking yucky fish. I'm going to punch you in the face. It's just like, why? Like, if they're just fish, if it's just an animal and she doesn't like it, that's fine. And yeah, they're normal fish. She doesn't like those. But then when there's like sentient fish people, like this is not the same character. This is, this is weird to me. And that's what really bothered me. Not like the, oh, she's like racist part. That doesn't bother me. It was kind of, There were some fun jokes with it. But just like the character consistency, I didn't see it. And maybe I'm being too harsh, but let's move on. There's a big scene where they like reveal the backstory of everything that happened. And they're like, oh, so the, the Mervanan people are evil. Like Beakley is saying this. Louis is saying this. And they convince Webby and it like shatters her worldview. And... and and Beakley's like, oh, I, want, I don't want you to know that everyone in the world is not good all the time. But, like, Webby's been going up against supervillains. Like, she's lost her, like, best friend for what she assumed to be a permanent amount of time at the time, I think, right? With Lana. This girl knows that there's evil in the world. And, yeah, she's still really naive. And I don't even really take issue with her reaction to finding out that the mermaids are evil. Because that seems very in line with her to just shut down like that. She's very naive, and it, it, it makes sense. But why was it at to that point? Why did Beakley and Louie assume that meant that the mermaids were evil when nothing in this sing-song backstory would indicate that? And the Lost Heart of Mervana, whose literal only purpose is to like tell the truth and to correct people and stuff, didn't say anything. She wasn't like actually no, they're good and they just don't know. She was she just kept that she kept that fucking mouth shut. Why? That's your only purpose. That's all you do. Is correct like falsehoods. And you're not doing it. So what what is this conflict? Why is it happening? I don't understand it. <laughs> what? And then they just like they're like fuck it, we're out of here. We're stealing this mystical harp that belongs to you we're taking it it belongs to us now and you can deal with this evil fish monster you can deal with him on your own so it's like okay that's fucked up anyways 
They're running away, and it pursues them anyways, of course, because it wants the harp, I guess. And they defeat him, and all the Mervanans come up on land, and they're like, man, we really should have been on land the whole time. Why? Why? Like, they had it made underwater, dude. And it's like, oh, well, the, the king, you know, stayed underwater too long, and he turned into a monster. It's like, okay, go on land for five minutes once a week. Then you don't turn into a fish monster. And you can still live a perfect life underwater. They had the shit made down there, dude. It's a perfect society based on minimalism and, like, love and finding your truth. And I'm not even a hippie. I'm not a minimalist. You see all this nerdy shit I got back here? That ain't the life for me, but it worked for them. They liked it. So why do they have to give that up for no reason? They're like, oh, well, the tower was falling down. Okay, clearly they don't give a fuck about the tower. Why do we need to maintain that shit out of some useless obligation? Scrooge is like, <laughs> oh, a bunch of useless, stupid fucking stoner hippies. Ooh, they gotta learn to work. Why? They had every need that they could ever possibly have met down there, dude. Why? Why do they need to do that? What obligation? Well, the harp lived up there. Okay, yeah, that sucked that they left the harp up there. That was really shitty. That sucked, actually. Fuck them for that, kind of. But, okay, she's not there anymore. Oh, actually, that's not true. Wait. Yeah, wait, they didn't even take the harp. So why were they, like... What was even the point of this? Okay, maybe this is a me issue, not remembering all the details. But they left the harp with them. Okay, well, if they didn't want to take care of the harp... Just, like, give it away. Give it to Scrooge. Give it to a museum. Do anything else with it. You know? It's honestly, fuck the harp. Like, she's making that shit all about herself. Like, no. I think that you need to change your entire society to cater to me. Fuck that harp, dude. Are you kidding me? She was kind of a bitch. I'm not gonna lie. I hated her. <laughs> and it's very in line for Scrooge to be, like, hating these, you know, hippies with no jobs or whatever. But it felt like the episode was about, like, the that was, like, the moral of the episode. Webby's like, and we need to find a balance. Why? You just made their lives worse. Why do we need that balance? <laughs> what? And like I said, the metaphor doesn't even make sense because it's supposed to be like a message of like, okay, you know, uh, you, you need to, life can't be all play, but it doesn't make sense in the context of the show because like I said, their life was fucking perfect down there. And yeah, it's like, well, the monster thing. But like I said, literally just, oop, I'm on land. Oop, I'm back in the water. You know, I, I stopped my full transformation. So it doesn't make any damn sense in the context of the show. Fuck that tower. Fuck the heart. I did not like those episodes, man. Am I, like, crazy? I'm not angry about it. Like, I'm playing it up. It's fun. It's fun to rant. You know? But, like, am I crazy? Or are there just, like, so many issues with this episode? Please let me know what you guys think down in the comments. I don't know, man. And it's, like, it's not even that bad of an episode, really. Like, it's not good. Don't get me wrong. It is bad. But, like, I'm, I feel so harsh on it because DuckTales, like, is just so consistently great and consistent that, like, an episode comes out like this and I'm just like, what am I even, like, watching? This is, like, it's, it feels like a different show. I, I, I'm not fond of this episode, man. It's, like, either the worst or the second worst episode so far uh, behind the season two premiere for me. But... We'll keep going. I vague posted that I didn't like an episode on Twitter and people were like, oh, it's, you know, uh, episode like nine or something. I don't even remember the episode number. And I was like, no, it's not. So apparently there's an episode coming up that a lot of people don't like. <laughs> I guess I'll see, you know, when I get to that, I've seen a couple of episodes after the harp episode and I did like them. Reactions for those are coming soon. But I'm really curious about to see what this community disliked one is. I think it would be really cool if I actually loved that episode. <laughs> and I'm just a contrarian little shit. I don't even know what the consensus is for this episode. I haven't uploaded my reaction yet. I don't have your comments. But please, let's like have respectful discourse in the comments. I know I went a little hard, but I love DuckTales. If you're watching this uh, video, you love DuckTales, I'm sure. 
Let's just have like a respectful discourse. Am I fucking stupid? Like that's just possible. Maybe I'm dumb. Maybe I'm dumb, but I don't think that's the case. I think this episode is. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you guys for watching. I wanted to put this on at the end of my reaction, but it's so long. I had so many things to say that I felt like it was justified to have it as its own upload. I'll catch you guys later, and until then, peace. <laughs>